So when the cottages opened, and folks from here started attending church, not everyone does, but a lot of folks have come over and been to several church services. And we have a testimony each week. Somebody gets up and shares how God is at work in their lives. They just show up on a Sunday, a true man to notice that others are being hurt and not say it's okay because it's all of us uh, here on this plan together and let God be with us forever and always. Amen. Amen. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the week before Thanksgiving, I moved into a cottage across the street after uh, about three years living under bridges and in a tent in North Dallas. Uh, it was other people's prayers and hard work that got me in that cottage because this is, that's my joy that now I have a regular place every day. My concern is that I still am a lot John in the flesh. And I still struggle with addictions and other worldly things, you know. John in the flesh would rather be on the corner hustling and feed my addiction. But God has seen different in me. You know, I'm still trying to find my need, my way to serve. But uh, just uh, I wish y'all would pray for me to help keep working with that addiction. I also want to add that you worked really hard to get yourself into that cottage. We're thankful for that. I'm just concerned. I mean, God works in mysterious ways. Uh, I just see these different signs. I bring the closer to him. I, I just feel them in my heart, you know, when it, when it pump. I'm just, I don't know how this works. I don't know my purpose, but I know he leads me the right way. It might be gradually, but thank you, God. Thank you. And a lot of folks from here are very eager to stand up and say, I've been where you're at. I've dealt with the addiction, I've dealt with the jail, I've dealt with the beatings, I've dealt with the prostitution, and now I'm housed. <clears throat> I do have a joy right now, and that is that I started a new job this past Friday. And my concern is for all the people that are homeless around this area, hopefully they will find the housing or employment or whatever it is that they need, as well as uh, any problems of addiction, alcohol, tobacco, whatever. Hopefully that they will get through this also and hopefully they will find a home also and a cleaner life for 2017. That I see God at work in my life. God's provided housing. God's provided food in my, my fridge. I have a fridge and God has put food in it and I've got hope. And they've been able to um, share that hope with people that really need that. That don't ever see a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, and so Church at the Square, because of things like the cottages, uh, has really become, it's always been a place of hope, but now that hope has a literal and physical address, and people get to share those stories, and it's been a wonderful.